What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, and welcome to the Collector's Corner. Today, we are going to be taking a look at John Romero's Daikatana. Yes, that Daikatana. The one and only Daikatana. One of the most infamous video games ever released. This is, if you don't already know the story about it, one of the most famous bombs to ever come out of, I was going to say the 90s, but honestly, this game did release in 2000. Um, it was a massive critical and commercial failure from one of the most revered game developers of that era. John Romero is the father of Quake, of Doom, of Wolfenstein, or at least that's what he's considered to be. One of the most influential developers, he was considered basically the very first like rock star game developer you know the kojima before kojima when it came to how people respected him back then and when daikatana came out it kind of just shattered everybody's trust and totally shifted opinions on him to the point where he pretty much doesn't work on video games anymore now this game was developed by ion storm but spe specifically the dallas division of ion storm um they weren't really known for any good games at all uh daikatana is probably their most famous title but for the wrong reasons however ion storm itself isn't actually that bad of a studio uh the austin division is also one of the developers behind the deus ex series particularly the first two deus ex and deus ex the invisible war as well as thief deadly shadows and that studio was eventually folded into i believe a much better and a much bigger studio later on that would continue to work on things like the thief and deus ex series so Honestly, Ion Storm wasn't a total waste, but Daikatana itself was, and again, it kind of tarnished John Romero's reputation. There are so many videos on this topic that you can go look up, especially from the early days of YouTube, because even when, you know, YouTube was just starting, this game was still kind of a hot topic. It was, you know, along with games like Sonic 06, uh, I mean, this was like one of like the premier games to poke fun at for uh, video game reviewers and Let's Players alike all the way back in the early days of YouTube, so... A lot of storied history behind it. We're just going to be taking a look at it for ourselves today and wondering why the heck a loose cartridge for this goes for 75 bucks and a complete cartridge uh, or complete game with manual and everything goes for almost $700. What the heck, people? I mean, I get it. It sold 40,000 copies or whatever, which by the, even the standards of the day is pathetic. But what the heck? I honestly can't even tell you what new copies go for because the last new copy sold, at least as far as anyone can tell, was all the way back in 2020. So the market has gotten a lot worse since then, and I would assume that it would sell for at least more than a complete copy. So uh, but who's to say what that exact amount is uh, in general? So let's take a look at this. I mean, there's options. Honestly, a lot of options, which is, I think, kind of funny. You got button configs. I mean... John Romero had a lot of respect for the PC platform. That, of that, there is no doubt. And I have heard that the PC version of this game isn't completely terrible. It's serviceable, or at least below average. It's not the worst thing ever. The 64 game is the worst thing ever, and that's what we're going to be playing today. So let's just jump right on in. Let's just see this thing for what it is. And oh, the little demo that was playing at the beginning is also the intro. Okay, that's good with these uh, very awesome characters. So I want to just point out, okay, let, we're gonna we're just going to put into perspective the di time uh, like that this game actually came out in, all right? So let's see, what games, other games came out in 2000 uh, that we can like compare this to? Okay, so we got Perfect Dark, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, the original Deus Ex, Baldur's Gate 2, Final Fantasy 9, the very first Sims came out that year. Wow. Oh, and Jet Set Radio. Jet Set Radio, which looked phenomenal, still actually holds up pretty darn well, came out the same year that this game did. Banjo-Tooie and Paper Mario, some of the best looking games on the Nintendo 64. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 came out. I think that was only on arcades at that point, though. Uh, came out that year. You got freaking Escape from Monkey Island 2. Spyro 3 also came out this year. Oh my gosh. And I mean, what was this? Only a year removed from Metroid Prime? I mean... Are you kidding? Grand Theft Auto 3 was less than a year away. Silent Hill 2. Super Smash Brothers Melee. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, I know it's like popular to riff on this game. Like, I, 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 you know, I know vicariously how popular it is to riff on this game. But I mean, what the heck were they thinking? What in the world? They, like, 
I don't think, I think that never clicked with me. I always look at this game as like, oh yeah, it was a bad game, but it came out in like 1996 or whatever. So it wasn't that, no, this was 2000. The GameCube was a couple years away. The PlayStation 2 was out. The Xbox was only a couple of years away. What in, this looks worse than like even early Nintendo 64 games. Like, this is something I would expect on the PC in, like, 1995. Or maybe something, like, on a really bad, like, Saturn game or something like that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And I don't even know if there were enough Saturn games to even compare that to. But, jeez. And I love how there's just, you know, obviously there's no voice acting. Which, you know, that makes sense. I, I'm willing to cut it some slack in that regard. Usually voice acting was very sparing on the Nintendo 64. Just because of, you know, the sound sound chip quality and all that. A lot of games didn't like to use it. And oftentimes just completely opted not to in general. But, ugh. The presentation and everything. I mean, if you care about anything that's going on, go ahead and read all that. But, I mean, they're still talking too. So, through the power of the story, he's able to foresee the faith of the way to mankind. I love this, like, magenta text, too. That's, like, the best part. <laughs> it's just, like, really bad text with one of the worst... Po like, this color doesn't inspire anything in regards to what you're saying. So, this is, like, clearly supposed to be, like... A, like a really cool Japanese setting and, and you know with honor and shogunates and all that kind of stuff and samurai I mean that's what it is about right dai katana what, what does dai mean again I know I know what I mean obviously I know what a katana is but I know dai is like a common prefix in Japanese and I'm I, I can't actually remember what that is I guess we could find kind of uh, figure that out dai what is the meaning of dai not in no Stupid Google. I don't want the freaking Indian translation. What does die mean? It means one. So the one katana. Got it. In or kanji die. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Sorry. That is not one. Die is a number. It's just straight up. No so this is number katana. Is that what it is? No, that can't be right. Big? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because of Dai Kaiju. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so big or large. So this is literally called Big Katana. I see. Well, I don't know if you want your katana to be super big because that would make it really hard to wield. Um, one of the first rules of uh, <laughs> one of the first rules about making a good sword is that you know weight th that weight balance ratio that you need to actually be able to swing it properly. If it's too heavy, not even the strongest person in the world could wield it effectively. You want it to be super lightweight. So I don't know. I don't know if that's really going to plan out for this muscular looking guy dude his chest looks like mr t like look at that it's mr t's face on his chest it's just missing the mohawk <laughs> his pecs are saying i pity the fool <laughs> okay all right Anyway, can this cutscene be over? Can I skip it? All right, we, we, I can skip it. Let's begin. Episode one, mission one, Marsh. Here we go. All right. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, so I can punch. B is like a blurry punch. Hold on. Oh, okay. So I can, so I can, can I get a gun? Is that, is that a gun that I picked up? I honestly don't know. I Apparently, I took some damage. I got the ion blaster weapon. How do I uh, switch between uh, between it? How how do how do I how do I how do I switch? I, I don't know what the button is to switch here. I want my I want the weapon. I want the weapon. Dang it! Uh, oh oh oh! There you okay 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 and 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 it is inverted. Okay, I did not think. How do how do I fix this? How do I fix this? I don't care about control six sensitivity. How do I fix this? Reverse free. Hold on. There's normal free. Let's let's go with that. That okay okay. That's a little bit more doable. I don't know who's shooting at me. I am apparently taking damage. What is hitting me? Is just walking hurting me? Ow! Oh, there's a turret. I couldn't see that. Okay, I didn't realize there was a turret there. All right, well, that's a thing I have to watch out for. You can't see anything in this game. And apparently I can't hit this turret either. Wow, this is uh, incredible how bad this is. 
Can I hit this turret? It's not even doing anything. Oh, oh, it eventually did something. Well, that was really wonderful feedback there. I got armor. That's good. And a skill power up. Okay, I don't know what that's going to do for me, but let's keep going. I just well, I know that was a turret I just passed there. Whatever. Going into the water. Is this, is this all this is? It's just lots and lots of turrets. Is that, is that all I'm going to be dealing with here? Oh, this is fun. Okay, this is... Okay, and then they don't, they don't miss. Oh, this is... Oh, this is a good video game. Oh, this is so good. Dude, I can't kill this turret. Can I punch it? I, I, I genuinely can't. I'm going to die. They don't miss. And there's that turret here. Can I punch you? Dude, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely confused here. Can I switch between... I mean, I'm out of ammo on this thing. I'm still taking hits. Oh, this is... This is something. This is something, all right. Something else is hitting me, too. Is there a jump button here? How do I... Oh, there is a jump button. Okay, so I can just go through here really fast, if, if possible. There we go. Nothing can hit me. How do I get... Am I, am I getting chased by something here? I don't know. So what's the jump button again? Okay, it's... Why is it right bumper? I mean, like, I know people, some people like bumper jumping, but not me. Okay, how do I crouch? No, genuinely, how do I crouch? Uh, L? N n no? What? I Dude, are you, is this for real? I, 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 I don't know what the crouch button is. I, I, there's not a lot of buttons on an N64 controller. I just want to point that out. So, okay, so the, there is, a, like, an easy switch uh, weapon button, though. I did figure that out, at least. And, oh, my gosh, trying to aim this thing. Vitality skill is increased. Now go kick butt. So can I... How... I, I, I'm genuinely confused. There's another one there, and then there's those turrets that I can't kill. I've taken so much damage in this. I... How... I, I, I'm seriously at a loss on how I'm supposed to crouch here. I'm going to press every button in sequence. What is the crouch button? Oh my gosh. Really? It's not, it's not a single button. It's A and R at the same time. You have got to be kidding me. Dude, like people weren't kidding. Also, I can't I, I apparently can't jump up here. Oh, this is this is a treat. This is a treat, alright. Oh man, this is so good. What a what a wonderful game. Who else is shooting me? You? Oh, it's another one of those turrets I can't ever blow up. Oh, I'm getting shot at some more. I'm gonna die. Oh no, they're getting me. Oh, I'm gonna lose here. Oh, there's health. Alright, we're good. Anyway. <laughs> oh, what the heck? They took out the bridge! I lost my armor. I gotta get out of here. Oh no, you're, you're too strong. No, what do I do? Oh, I got you. Oh, speed cre skill increase. Now go kick butt. What am I being, what else am I being shot? Oh, you, I didn't see you there. You were in my way, sorry. What the heck? I wish this actually controlled like Doom instead of whatever the heck this is supposed to be. Can't go any further until we open this door. Maybe I can open this door with this switch. Hey, hey, where you go? Oh, hello. I get you too. And then you as well. I mean, the aiming isn't, like, the worst thing in the world. It honestly could be a lot worse than it is. It's just... I don't know. I don't know what I'm expecting here. What does this do? Mishima! That's a button. What did that do? Is this a dead end? Hey, what's this? It's an elevator to the next level! Okay, well, apparently I made it. I mean, at least I know now that those turrets mess you up really good. What is there anything back here? Or is this just a dead end? There seems to be... Oh, I can hurt myself with my own shots. Oh, that's good. Well, how do I get to that? I want that health pack. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess I might as well just go. Up to the next level. Oh, it's, oh, it's not like the next stage. It's the next literal like floor, like that level. Okay, I, I understand now. Well, now I can get that health pack. Thank you. And uh, we're going through a waterfall. Woo, into the river. Okay, are there more turrets? I honestly don't know. I'm, I'm just being very cautious here. Oh, I, oh, that is the end of the level, I think. Wow, this is an experience. Uh, are you? Why are you starfishing against the wall? 
I can't unsee Mr. T's face in those pecs. I mean, it's mostly just the beard is why. That's why I'm, I'm seeing Mr. T there. What the heck? Oh my goodness. This is so incredible. <laughs> this is like, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely in awe at everything I'm seeing here. But do I genuinely care about the story? I mean, I don't, but I kind of want to see what this ghost is about to do. Must touch fuse box. Must electrocute self again. Thanks, ghost. He's, he's about to touch it like it didn't work the first time. <laughs> oh, no. That's horrible. Okay. I think I'm done with this cutscene. Anyway, there. yeah. Ghost did the thing. We're going to save the game, and then we're going to keep going. Let's, let's, let's do one more mission. I mean, I don't know how... Okay. Well, no. I, I don't want to. Let's... We can get out of here now. That's done. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Got it. He's walking downstairs. He probably found another ghost or something. Here we go. All right, so we actually get to start with 100 health this time. Let's see. What am I going to immediately get shot at as soon as I spawn in here? Oh, you. Hold on. Uh, there you are. Let's kill you. Oh, and that was the last of my ammo. Dang it. Okay. Okay, that's a mech. I'm going to punch you. Oh, I'm, I'm a super dead. I have no ammo. That's bull. I am very dead. Ah, <laughs> little of the, the, the screen spinning. Oh, that's funny. Okay, I have one shot. That's so lame. All right, hold on. Come here. Oh, oh, this doesn't kill you very effectively either. Oh, no, it doesn't. Wow. All right, well, I don't want to hit that yet. I'm going to look down this way because that was apparently... Oh, hold on. There's more ammo. Let's keep using the... Okay, their guns actually do a lot. How many punches? Jeez. All right, well, now I can actually get some ammo for this thing. Oh, the Sidewinder weapon. Well, let's see what this does. This looks like it'll be fun, right? Let's try it. Okay, that does a lot of damage. Ow! Oh, I am very, I am very, I am very pinned against a wall. I did not, I did not expect that. Oh no! Hello, dude. Pardon me. I need to kill your mech friend. Okay, that's a lot of damage. I'm gonna probably die. <laughs> did it, did I get him? I think I actually got him. Oh, I did. Okay, what's up, dude? Oh, is there, was there a guy here? There is a guy here. I don't think I want to touch him though. Let's just do that. They're just kind of standing there all silly like. I have like no health here though. Hopefully whatever I was did good. So can I kill you guys? I can. Oh, that's funny. Well, now they're dead. All right. Well, anyways, we have the the rocket launcher now. I guess I should have just stuck with the other weapon. It would have been a lot stronger. I guess if I die again, I, I, have a, I have a better understanding of what I should do next. Oh, it really pushes you back too every time you fire. Oh, that was just a terrible shot. There we go. Come on. Blow him up. The AI in this is really brilliant, by the way. Just want to point that out. It's, like, super smart. So, let's just go this way. Can I go? That's a force field there. I'm afraid to touch that. I can't get through it easily. How and where do I go? Hello? Well, I can't do anything here. Is there a button I'm missing? Hold on. Is there anything here I can, like, activate? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's go back the other way. I'm starting to think I probably should kill myself and, like, reset the level a little bit. Was I not supposed to kill those guys? Were they the ones who were going to set everything free? It's very possible. When I press the button again. That didn't do anything. I'm going to kill myself. Come on, die. There you go. All right, let's start this thing over really fast and I'm gonna actually use my weapon a little bit more properly this time around so really quickly let's just go and use our one shot on this guy because they just die in one hit to the all right oh I thought I missed him okay that was apparently a good shot now let me quickly grab this thing oh don't you dare no stop it have that yeah there we go get my, my health back and now I can use this thing I probably should have honestly saved that HP recovery until after this fight was done. There we go. Let's keep knocking myself back. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he coming, though. Oh, Lord, he coming. All right, well, he's dead. All right, so I'm going to not kill those guys this time. 
And I'm just going to hit the button to open the door. Yes. Okay. Let's just leave it at that. And let's continue. Take a look around. And this is super intuitive, by the way. Oh, there's that. And then, yeah, there's, there's this mech guy. I'll just use this one. I'm getting low on ammo for this thing, though. Come on. I'm going to soon have nothing left to work with here. All right. What do... I, I, I'm genuinely, like, I don't know where to go. Can I blow these open? No, none of this is working. And I feel like I'm about to softlock myself if I try to do anything else. I'm I'm genuinely... I, I honestly don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. This is super not obvious. There's not a lot of places to go, honestly. So I don't know what, what more it could want. Some sort of cell block in there. And everything is closed off. So I thought killing uh, not killing the guys would help me but it doesn't so i'm going to uh punch you in the back of the head and i'm going to punch you you guys die very easily too and uh we'll just kind of make our way back th th again i just want to stress this is a game that came out in 2000 2000 2000 2 Freaking, oh, there's a thing. Okay, we found it. I have to do the freaking crouch thing again. 2,000. That's how bad this is. What is that? Okay. And now suddenly everything's open. Are you going to attack me? Or are you good, bro? You, you seem good. Uh, is there like any like ammo I can find in any of these little jail cells, possibly? Y'all all right? He's still handcuffed, though, so maybe it's not the best thing in the world for him. I mean, you can get out of here if you so desire. I killed the freaking guys stopping you from leaving, so... That's good, at least. Let's open this and see what we got in here. Go up the elevator. Ow. Oh, hi. Okay, well, I'm taking lots of damage. Uh, Jump! Alright, I made the jump. Let's go this way. Is this, is this the right way to go? I honestly don't know. I honestly have no clue where the heck it wants me to go. That was um, an interesting series. I'm just going to get shot here if I stay here too long. Where do I go? Is this is, Was I not supposed to go here? I mean, I know there's a lot of people. Um, I, I'm honestly at a loss here. Well, I'm just taking hits for free. Is there anything I'm supposed to crouch under? Why is this game so confusing? Like, there's nothing that's immediately apparent about it at all, like, on, as a, to what you're supposed to do. It's so bizarre. All right, come here, you. I'm going to punch you. Oh, there's a, there's a thing over there. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that, though? Like, for real, though. Hold on. I'm going to take this up again. Hold on. Eh. I tried to jump and it didn't work. This guy's going to kill me. He's definitely going to kill me. Oh, no. I died again. Oh, no. Daikatana's over. Yeah, this game sucks. Uh, so, yeah, that's Daikatana. We're not going to play that anymore. I mean, it's really... There's really no sense in trying to bash my head against that. I know this was a little bit of a shorter episode, but... I wasn't about to sit here and try to, like, beat the entire game or anything. I was just wanted to see, like, why it's so bad. And, it, yeah, I mean, it's every area. Every single... The controls are bad. The visuals are bad. The everything is bad. The presentation's bad. The music is bad. There's nothing good about it. Not a single solitary thing that I can think of. Except, actually... Okay, I will give it credit. As far as Nintendo 64 first-person shooters go... I could actually aim somewhat okay in that. Um, almost better than GoldenEye. <laughs> Somebody is going to crucify me for that one. <laughs> no, uh, it, it was terrible. It was genuinely terrible. The movement was... It, really, the aiming was the only part that like kind of worked. But honestly, I'm going to chalk that up to my controller more than the actual game itself because this is kind of a controller designed specifically for fighting games and shooters. 
uh, on the N64, so I'm going to say it's uh, more to that than the actual game itself. All that said, thank you all so very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this crap show very, very much, and I'll see you all in the next one.